To Soweto now, where in Orlando, former President Jacob Zuma is expected to make an announcement on his political future this afternoon. The anticipation is fueled by speculation that Zuma may be considering a new political home. This comes as other ANC leaders have chosen to disconnect from the party. To discuss this further with us, we are joined by political independent analyst Tobani Zigalala. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Zigalala. So, do you think former president Jacob Zuma is dumping the ANC for a new political party? Uh, greetings, um, colleagues, and greetings to your, to your viewers. I think it is a very difficult proposition to think about Jacob Zuma outside of the ANC. I think it would, be, it would, have, it would have taken a lot from him. I think we have seen over the years his com commitment towards the ANC and the ANC project even at times when uh, the odds were almost stacked against him. It would have taken a lot of consideration for him to, to imagine himself outside of the ANC. I think in our political imagination in this country, we have not imagined Jacob Zuma outside of the ANC. He's one of the people that you can say are ANC men through and through because he spent more than 60 years of his life, or well, almost all of his adult life up to his elderly life now. President Jacob Zuma has been an ANC person. And to see him outside of the ANC for me is, 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 is a difficult proposition. But also above that, I think it would be an unnecessary proposition. Jacob Zuma is 80, uh, President Jacob Zuma is 81 years old. For him to, to reimagine himself and reinvent himself and rebrand himself at this age, I don't think it's a necessary proposition. But of course, the political landscape in South Africa and in the world is unpredictable. And also, if you look at someone like President Zuma, his, his, his whole life has been around uh, politics and in being engaged in politics. And of course, it would be difficult for himself to imagine himself not even real political influence. Because if you look inside the ANC, almost all his forces and those who are close to him are almost outside of the echelons of power and, and, and the administration of the state and the ANC. And that will be, may make him to rethink how then does he reorganize himself for that possibility. But the difficult part with that is almost that almost all his forces and, and, and those who are strong, who are strong allies of his, like your Ace Mahashulas, like your Kalmi House and others, are almost disintegrated and found themselves new political homes. So if he finds himself in a new political home today that is outside of these forces of his, of his I think it will be a very difficult proposition for, for, for himself. But of course we wait and see. South Africa's political landscape is very uh, difficult to, or to understand because it's forever changing. Indeed, and there are also speculations that the party has already been registered. Say he does uh, start his new party and, uh, you know, speculation is rife that it has been uh, registered with the IEC already. What do you make of this? Do you think it's just hot air? I think if you look at the propositions that have been made, of course, with the regards to um, controversies with political party having been already uh, registered, and of course, we saw, we have seen some videos circulating of an all Africa movement or something like that, which, uh, of course, in itself is is being has been proposed to be associated to him. I think it also says to us that there have been people who have been working towards this moment. So, if Jacob Zuma today decides uh, to join these forces and to become the face of this political for, for political formation. It will tell us that this is not an, a, an event of today. It's not a coincidence. It is something that they have been working on for some time. Can it be that there are, these are forces and allies of Zuma who have organized this uh, political party for some time and they've spent all this time trying to organize, or to convince Jacob Zuma to make this move? And I think for me, that shows that uh, this is not something that just is the spare of the moment thing. It's something that has been thought, thought about for some time, if already, uh, there are parties that are being linked that have already been registered. Uh, it, it tells you that Jacob Zuma has taken some time to consider these propositions being made by his allies. But as I said, the difficult part of that is that those who have been seen to be strong men against uh, uh, around Jacob Zuma and his allies seem to have already found political homes. It, the question will be, how much stronger do those who are going to lead this formation in with Jacob Zuma, if he joins them, how much stronger those people are going to be? Because the political landscape in South Africa, as much as it is unpredictable, it's not an easy political landscape. You need, Jacob Zuma will not alone be able to, to run this political party without having strong leaders around, around him. 
and for me that's the that's the what i want to i want i want i'm waiting to hear that if he makes the move if his political future is now redefined and imagined outside of the ANC, who is in this political formation that is being associated with because it will not help jacob zuma to to move and move with 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 characters that are not strong and not characters that are recognizable and don't have political influence in the country because that may dent his image and dent his legacy and of course, just before I let you go, a quick one on this. So on Wednesday, the ANC said it was expecting all its former leaders to campaign for the party in the upcoming national and provincial elections next year. So if it does leave the ANC, will it hurt the party at the polls or weaken the party, especially in its support base in KwaZulu-Natal, looking at how the ANC is so stronghold? President Jacob Zuma is a key political figure in the province of KwaZulu Natal, the key political figure in the ANC and in South Africa. Any move that he makes that is clearly outside and against the ANC will dent the ANC in the province. But the question we must ask ourselves is those who are close and those who love and will support Jacob Zuma, do they support him as an individual or do they support him because he's in the ANC? Do they love him because he's associated with the ANC? Because that is, will have an impact in whether, and also in, in terms of imagining how much that uh, impact is going to be in the ANC. Because that's the consideration we must always make. That Jacob Zuma, yes, is important. Jacob Zuma has spent 16 year, 60 years of, of his life in the ANC. He is, his, his brand and his political image is associated with the ANC. Those who loved him have loved him because of his dedication of his life, of more than 60 years of fighting for the liberation of South Africa. Now, can those people imagine Jacob Zuma outside of the ANC and will they follow him? It would be a big dent on the ANC if those people followed, follow President Jacob Zuma outside of the ANC and they follow him. To do a big dent, and of course we already know that predictions are out there that the ANC may be below 50% going into the next elections. And if a key political figure like, the, like, like President Jacob Zuma leaves the ANC, that dent would be much bigger. And that is what maybe the ANC should have considered, should, should consider going forward. And we have seen how the, the leadership of the, of the ANC have treated this Jacob Zuma issue. They've treated it as if it doesn't matter. And they've not treated it like other, like, like other key leaders of the ANC or veterans of the ANC who have threatened to leave, like Yomar Busom Simang and others. If Jacob Zuma is threatening to leave, if I'm a leader of the ANC, I'm very focused to try to keep Jacob Zuma inside the ANC because I know the political influence he has in the province of Guazulu and in South Africa. But it seems that those who are leading the ANC almost want to disregard Jacob Zuma as, as not a key political figure in this country. And I think that is a political mistake. Tobani Zigalala is an independent political analyst. Thank you very much indeed for your time this hour.